Hello! So after last week's video I thought it would be a good idea to take things down a notch and talk about ways that you can deal with stress or ways that you can relax. So these are a few things that I like doing, things that work for me. Let me know if there's anything that works particularly well for you and let me know if any of these things that I've mentioned have helped you at all. So I am British and one thing that we Brits are renowned for doing is drinking tea. And there's a reason behind that, because the task of making a cup of tea and just taking five minutes to sit down on your own and drink the tea is a really good way to step away from whatever you're doing and just relax. My favourite cups of tea are ones where I can just sit down and drink them and not do anything else. So I'm not multitasking, I'm not focusing my energy or my mind on doing anything else. I can just sit back and take five minutes or so to myself and just chill. And do literally nothing else. It doesn't matter if it's sort of normal tea you're drinking or chamomile tea, peppermint, fruit tea, whatever your kind of tea, all tea is good tea. Listen to me living up to the British stereotype of raving about tea, but honestly it does work and there's reason we love it so much. Something that's been really popular in the last few months is adult colouring books. Now I know these have sometimes had the opposite effect on some people. Some people get really frustrated with them because they spend ages colouring on them. And it does take time to, to do the colouring in, but uh, they feel like afterwards they don't have anything to show for it. There's no sort of finished masterpiece. And the purpose of these books is not to achieve something, it's just to do it and just to colour it in and enjoy the process of doing it. It doesn't take a lot of brain power to colour in, so this can be a good way to relax while you're doing other things. For example, listening to music, which is another really good way to chill out. Everyone will find some kind of music that they enjoy. There's so much diversity in music. Different songs or styles will evoke different reactions in people. So whatever makes you happy, whatever chills you out, I don't care if you're bobbing along to High School Musical or screaming your heart out to something like Asking Alexandra. If it makes you happy, you go Glen Coco. I personally love situations where you can completely forget about the existence of reality. And what I'm talking about is losing yourself in a really good story. Um, be that in a book or on TV or in a film. Being so fully immersed in a fictional world that you actually forget about your own life, your own problems, your own stresses is insane. Like. Honestly, I don't think you understand how much I love reading and watching films and just being transported away from your own world for 10, 15 minutes or so. It's it's incredible and it's crazy how, how much of an impact it has on people. So whether it's just reading a book for five minutes or so, watching your favorite film, getting lost in a couple of episodes of a really good TV series, being so immersed in that story and what's going on with the characters is such a good way to just step out of your own life and just take a bit of a breather and enjoy something else that's happening. This next one took me a little while to get into but it's so effective and that is exercise. When you've got so much pent up energy and you're so angry that it makes you want to hit something or someone, you need to get it out. You can't bottle that kind of stuff up because it is disastrous. You will explode and it will be bad. So instead, take that energy and put it into working out. Whether it's taking a trip to the gym, going for a run, or putting on a fitness DVD, whatever. Just do it and let off some steam. And you'll feel so much better for having time to clear your head, being able to release all of that tension and just getting it all out there. And working out also, you'll improve your fitness. So it's winning all round, perfect. Having a bath or a bit of a pamper session is something that's so easy to do and so relaxing as well. You don't even need to leave your house. Chilling out in a nice warm bubble bath, doing a face mask, painting your nails and just taking time to look after yourself is one of my favourite things to do. Taking care of yourself first and foremost is so important, I can't stress that enough. You need to be able to look after yourself to look after others or do things for others. So doing a pamper session or just taking some time to really make yourself feel better, I guess, and, and look after yourself. T TLC, tender loving care from me to me. It, it's, it's important. 
With technology these days, it's so easy to keep track of what your friends are up to and what they're doing, but it's also really important to be able to meet up with someone and speak to them face to face with a bit of human contact. As I mentioned earlier, bottling things up is so bad for you. So sometimes it, it can help just to meet up with someone and talk about what's stressing you out. Just talking to someone who cares about you and just getting it all off your chest, I promise you'll feel so much better for it. And it's even better if they have pets. Because I mean, who could be sad or stressed out when there are cute little puppies or kittens running around? Pet therapy works. Fact. And if you need a quick fix as well, meditation apps can really help. You can download them on your phone and just take 10 minutes or so to go through a guided meditation session. And it really works. My favourite ones are Headspace and another one called Stop, Breathe and Think. They're both free, you can download them, use them whenever you need them, wherever you are, and you could just take a few minutes or so to meditate and calm yourself down really. Um, I love these apps, I love doing them because I feel so relaxed afterwards. And even while I'm using them, I think a couple of times I have sort of self-hypnotised, which was a bit weird, but at the same time, it really worked. I felt like. It, it was a strange feeling, you just sort of have to do it, but it really works and I really enjoyed it because I just feel so relaxed afterwards, like everything I was worrying about doesn't really matter that much. It's weird, they're, they're so powerful, but they're good, they're really good, they're really really good. Try them. Headspace, stop breathing think. Do it. So those are the few ways I personally like to relax and chill out. So I hope these tips could potentially help you in the future. If they do, let me know because I would love to hear about it. I love hearing feedback from you guys. I'm talking like I have a massive following. I don't. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye!